Acasis, Acasis, Acasis. If you watch any of my videos where I do game testing, you'll see an Acasis NVMe enclosure. I have one that I use for my game testing. It's a primary device. It's actually upstairs right now. I use it all the time, every single day. And I also have this one here, which is a dock style NVMe enclosure. It has the display port there. They just put another one out here. So we get a USB-C cable, 100 watt max. So this thing's gonna power my, uh, well, it's easily power that. What's all this? Oh, your adapters for your NVMEs because you have different lengths of NVMEs. Thermal pads, two sets of thermal pads. They just don't, they just don't cheap out, these guys. Now what we'll do is we'll do a bit of a comparison to some of the other Acasis NVMe enclosures, USB 4. Obviously, I like this brand. So this is the first one. Uh, actually, this is the second one that I got from, uh, that I bought off of them. Um, this one here has a fan in it, right? USB 4, so very, very fast. This one here is just a USB 4 enclosure with a fan. So it's really good if you're gonna be doing, you don't need all the extra dock support, you just need very, very fast transfer speeds and you need your NVMe to stay nice and cool. I use this one here as a game drive actually because I will test games for hours and hours and hours and hours uh, for YouTube and you know, it gets, they get hot. They also have this one here that I got uh, in a previous video. This one here is outstanding. It's kind of similar to this here. You get two USB-C there. You can see that one of them is the 40 gigabit per second. That's the one that goes into your laptop. This is a power, so a little bit different. A standard USB-C, which is 10 gigabit per second. Uh, so you get about 1,000 megabytes a second transfer, still fast, but not as fast. Two USB-A, very good for like dongles. And then you get two display port out. You can watch my video on this one here. This is more of like a display dock with an NVMe inside, of course. This is my video editing drive here. Put some extra pads on it, runs nice and cool. It's got a fan on it, which this one on this model always goes, which is fine because I usually have this one tucked away out of nowhere and I can't hear it anyways. And then I have my display, plug in my uh, that into my laptop. This is for power, you don't actually need it. It just runs off of the Thunderbolt itself. Then there's this new one that obviously I'm reviewing right now. This one here is slightly different because you do get the USB-C uh, 40 gigabit that goes into the laptop, very good. But then you get an, also another one. Right, unlike this one here. So this one is gonna be perfect for daisy chaining. This will be the first one that'll go into my laptop. Then I'll chain that out into here. So I'll be able to set up two of them, which is kind of crazy, but it will work. Yes, it will work very well. Uh, that's the cool thing about that. So you get two USB 40 gigabit per second. Awesome. Still get a USB A, nice and fast there. You do still get display, but it's just a single display. And this one's HDMI. So this is good for people who use like Macs and that 4K60 is still fantastic, right? Uh, you may, and then on this side here, you get your power delivery, 100 watt in, so great for powering a laptop. This here has Thunderbolt 4. I also have a Legion over there, um, which can take a lot more power. And we'll test that out a little bit after, just to see if this thing can actually supply 100 watts, because that Legion will accept 100 watts. Fan on this one here, but it's toggleable. So this one, you know, most likely, uh, if you're going to be, if you're irritated by the fan, you can turn that off there. Comes in from the top there, should keep them nice and cool. This one is also really cool because, dun, dun, da, da, dun. Dual NVMe, bum, bum. it's so cool. Uh, that's part of the reason why you don't have as many displays out on this one. So this one here, you know, you have uh, USB 40 gigabit per second coming out, and then you have enough bandwidth to support two 4K displays at high refresh over display port with these and also the NVMe inside. Here, in theory, you're gonna be ripping double NVMe. So you're gonna be eating up a lot of that bandwidth for these two NVMe's here. So then also having two displays out of that, this thing's gonna crawl. Uh, there's just so much, only so much data that can be sent over USB, uh, Thunderbolt 4 or USB 4 at 40 gigabit. So there's just, that just makes sense. So you have two NVMe's there, very nice. With active cooling, uh, these things here, I mean, sometimes you set them up to have passive cooling. Uh, this one here has active as well, but it also does connect. So you kind of get a mix of active and passive. This one here, the fan in theory, I'm just gonna go straight at passive cooling on this here, blow the air into this little thing here, cool it out, and then it will come out uh, one of the directions here. So I assume that this is gonna work pretty well. Oh, let's see, very good. Okay, so I have two extremely fast NVMEs here, Kyoxia, four terabyte NVMEs with uh, DRAM, TLC drives, these are super high end. Uh, you can't actually, I don't think you can buy them technically, they're like consumer uh, OEM drives. Pulled them from a system. Very, very nice. Quite happy about this event that's going on right here. You can hear maybe in my voice, I'm quite excited. I'm not sure, I want, I kind of want to turn this into a game, into a video editing drive because I can just put on eight terabytes of fast storage for video editing. That's probably what I'm gonna do. Um, I could in theory also put it into a, 
uh, turn it into just a game drive and just have so many games. I don't know if it just cools down like the whole thing, gets the metal itself cool, right? And then you passively cool into the metal and then the, this thing actually just cools the whole dang thing. I don't know. So that's that there, right? Cause you're gonna blow air in. Technically it should pull air through the NVMe, I guess. Right, pull it in there, blow it out. Here's probably what it's gonna do. So it will cool them down. Okay, so let's see here. We're plugged into the wall there. Now let's plug in the USB. Immediately powering. So that's perfect. Power to power to the laptop. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, actual like uh, system drive. So we're gonna format that. We're gonna do them as XFAT rather than NTFS. Just Okay, so we're doing the first uh, NVMe inside. Mm -hmm. We'll just test, see what they do. Uh, my suspect, uh, my suspicion was correct. It's gonna split the bandwidth between the two internals. Uh, so in theory, what's gonna happen is both of these are gonna each run at 20 gigabit per second uh, as a max speed. So basically that, 1600 or so, 1700 for both of those there. Then hopefully, in theory, this uh, NVMe here, uh, this port here, the 40 gigabit per second should run at a full uh, USB 4. That's how this would logically work, where this is split here. Uh, this gives you full bandwidth there and, you know, over the whole thing. So it, in theory, you know, because I'm not doing anything like video out right now or anything like that, in theory, uh, we're going to be able to do uh, 20 gigabit, 20 gigabit, as long as they're, I guess, technically at the same time, 20 and 20. So you could move between the two of them. That'll take up your to total 40 gigabit per second. Just divide it by two. That'll be fine. Uh, in theory, if we're not using anything else, this one here should do full 40 right? Because it's going to be able to use the full 40. That should be fine. Um, and then of course, you know, like these will be 10 display will be straight. Now, if we start using everything at one time, so if we start using the two NVMEs in there, like actively using them, not just having them rest, potentially an NVME running out of here, doing something, maybe moving some data, maybe that one's doing something as well. And we're also displaying uh, to the screen here, we're going to start eating up the bandwidth. Think of it as we have 40 gigabyte. 40 gigabits of bandwidth here, and each one of these is gonna start taking some. So once we do some of the video, some of it's gonna be gone. And then we start using, uh, you know, like maybe that thing over there, some of it's gone. And then what's the result? This one here isn't gonna be able to use that full 40 anymore because part of it's gone. So this one will start to slow down. The temperature's nothing there. The fan isn't even on yet. I didn't turn it on. Um, where are you? It's one of these. Uh, Yoxia drives, I don't know which one. I mean, probably the one that is two degrees warmer. But then, yeah, I, mean, I guess it's maybe this one. Uh, host reads, host rates, where's the activity level? So I guess it's that one, because the thing is changing. And so it's at about 47 degrees, 47 degrees. So passively, it's staying nice and cool. Let's see what happens when we turn this fan on. I don't know if we're gonna ever even need this fan. Maybe if you're like doing video editing for like five hours or something, I don't know, maybe it'll. So, I mean, the fan works, obviously. Uh, it worked in this one too, here without problems, just to bring those temps down just slightly. Very good. And now we're not going up anymore, we're just stuck at 47. So the fan here does work. Okay, so let's see here now the next drive. So, uh, so this is gonna run over the Thunderbolt, the uh, USB 4 here. Uh, we're gonna go over that there. So we're gonna see how fast this goes. In theory, this should run at full speed now. Uh, these are gonna be split and this, yeah, right away. So uh, that's gonna be four because it can run a full 40 uh, gigabyte per second into that. These are gonna be split, so 20 and 20, We're looking good. Okay, so as anticipated, this one running over 10 gigabit per second gives you 10 gigabit per second. You can see that there. So that's gonna run at full speed as well. The last thing I suppose to test here is actually just the HDMI realistically, and then maybe do some stuff simultaneously. Let's go like this there. We'll go extend, I suppose, is fine. Very good. Actually, let's just go show on two. It's just less messy. There we go. So that's good. Um, we're gonna have to fix this a little bit here. So very good. 4K60, exactly as they anticipated and they told me it would be. A little bit, actually, less than I thought. So to be honest, uh, it's only using up maybe 500 megabytes a second of the bandwidth over to do the display. So the display is using a little bit of it and the NVMe is still doing a lot. Um, what else can we do? I mean, that's basically that there. So you can run the 4K 60 display there. And while you're doing that, you can still easily run, you know, these two in here are gonna run 
without any slowdown whatsoever. Uh, this one here is going to run, you know, basically almost at full speed, not quite. You're using a little bit of bandwidth. And I'm going to see if I can run these in extended volume. So I think I got this working. What I had to do is use disk part. So I went uh, in here. I just went into disk part. I went uh, list disk. I went select disk two. And then I typed clean, hit enter. And then I did the same thing to number three. And then what I did is I came into disk management, which you can just find by going like this, partition management. And this one pops up here. Let's find out. Convert to Now, this is where we get an error. We don't get an error. Yep. Only the first two terabyte are usable on a master boot. I didn't make it that. Interesting. So let's go like, let's try it like this. So we're gonna go like this. We're gonna go initialize this one. Convert to dynamic disk. I think both of them have to be dynamic for this to work. I don't know if this will work. Sometimes external enclosures don't let this work. We'll find out. Yeah, it doesn't work, unfortunately. So we're gonna have to do them one by one, I think. I'll try one more time. So we'll go spanned. Uh, what? Go like that. Okay. Already mapped. Sure. That's how you spell it. Kyoxia dual. NTFS. I feel like it's not going to work. Holy crap, it worked. Okay, so you have to convert them to dynamic um, first. Okay, I canceled the format and then I just reformatted it and it worked immediately. It got stuck trying to format. So I just canceled and then I hit format again, which then it worked. Uh, it's asking me to assign a drive letter because I think the first one was messed up. So we're just going to go with one further down. I'm just going to go G. Oops, okay. And there we go. <laughs> now I have an eight terabyte external NVMe, uh, dual Kyoxia, very, very, very high Kyoxia drives. Okay, it is much later and I've just been messing around with this thing, just seeing what it can do. So what do I think of this device? I mean, it's fantastic. Just like the other two Acasis devices that I have reviewed and been using as a daily product, this one is super cool. Has a fan which runs actually quieter than the other two for sure. So they, they told me that they improved the fan there and they definitely did. Uh, power delivery 100 watt works great. HDMI works exactly as anticipated. That works exactly as anticipated. Two USB 4s is great. That one's gonna go to your device allowing you to hook up another USB 4 so you can daisy chain them and I have been messing with them and they do work just fine. Very awesome. The NVMe is inside right nice and cool and you get two of them, very, very nice. Fan does help quite a bit. The cool thing is here, I was able to actually set these up in a extended volume, which is awesome because now I have two four terabytes running into eight terabytes. Super, super cool. All metal design, nice and rugged. It's just, I mean, this is realistically the best kind of stuff you're gonna get. If you're looking for something, if you're looking for something like this product, then get this. This is an outstanding product. It works exactly as it's anticipated to work. And I can tell you right now that I've been using these other Acasis drives for a very long period of time, realistically. Where's the other one? Oh, it's back there, uh, over there. And they're great. I mean, I use them as a daily driver for months and months and months. I think that one I've had for over a year, maybe a year and a half. This one I've had for maybe six to eight months. I use it every single day. So, I mean, this is just another one that's gonna be added to the uh, pile of them. These are excellent drives. These are excellent products made by an excellent brand.